everybody. I'm glad you're with me today. This video is probably going to be more of a drive and chat video because I need to be out running errands and I thought I'd take you with me. So I know that I'm going to Barnes and & Noble and then I'll probably go maybe to the Sunglass Hut and then possibly Ulta if I have time, but I have to go by a friend's house and drop off some books for her that I've read and she has not and I'm going to share them with her because um, well, I just don't want books, any more books stacked up. I have hundreds of books. Um, I tend to read about a book a week, so uh, I do like to share them. But anyway, let's get going. I want to get a new pair of sunglasses and I'd like to get Ray-Bans if I can find them because they tend to be the style and shape. I love the aviator shape and these are not the larger aviators. These are the smaller aviators and I like that. So I'm going to look for those and let me turn this radio off because I do not want to hear Old Town Road again. I, have, I tend to listen to the top 40 stations. Well, I, actually, I listen to Sirius Radio, and I, lo I love Hits 1, and I love Chill. And so I will listen to Hits 1 until I've heard everything as much as I can stand it. And uh, Old Town Road is beginning to get on my nerves a little bit because... I've heard it a thousand times, and don't get me wrong, I I think that the artists are wonderful, and I, I'm sure that they are happy they have another hit song, but especially Billy Ray Cyrus, I haven't heard from him in a while. However, I uh, if I had a hit song, I'd want mine to be played over and over too, but I don't want to hear it anymore, so every time it comes on, I turn the radio off. I've been binge-watching uh, the second season of Big Little Lies, and, I, you know, it's one of my shows that I really, really enjoy. If you haven't watched it, try, give it a try. You might like it. I like Zoe Kravitz on it this year. She adds a little bit of earthiness to the show, and, of course, I love all of the music they play, and I've downloaded some of the music especially that opening number where you know you can listen to it and imagining the imagine the waves crashing and it's just um one of my favorites so if you haven't tried it uh, might i would definitely start with the first season don't don't try to dive into the second season because the characters are pretty complex this shopping center like so many across the united states has so many empty spaces. I don't know how some of these stores stay open because everybody shops online. I'm, I do all the time. But one store that I will go into is a bookstore. And I, I love reading books, real books, not on a tablet. So I always frequent bookstores. And of course, Amazon. I order quite a bit off of Amazon. And I love biographies and autobiographies, and I, I don't know of any that are coming out anytime soon, but I am going to ask about the release date on some that I've heard are coming out. So we're going to see what, what I can expect. Usually September, October, I believe, is when a lot of those books will come out. So I'm going to run in Barnes & Noble and see what is new. Okay, so... They were kind enough to print off for me the list of books being published through or released through September 24th. And I don't see anything that I'm super interested in, but you might check with your local bookstore and see if there's something. You know, books are released every Tuesday. I did find a couple of books. I was looking for a biography or autobiography, or and I'll read just about anybody's memoir, too. But I found two books. I got... Uh, a Castle on Sunset, which is the history of the Chateau Marmont, Marmont in L.A., which should be interesting. And the reason I bought it is because I have read New York's, the history of the New York's Dakota building. And that was very interesting. So if you are into history or architecture or just the people who you know have lived in uh, a city 
and a particular building. It's always fun to read those. And then I found a little novel that I'm going to read, and it's called The French Wedding. And I'm not a true novel reader. I like novels that are based on history. So um, we'll see how this goes. If nothing else, look at that cover. Isn't that beautiful? I might set that out just for, just because it's so pretty. But um, books, I have a whole bag, a whole bag of books to take to my friend that I've read recently. And you might, if you if you love to read, I'll just run through these real quick because I want to suggest them to you. Park Avenue Summer, if you are a fan of Helen Gurley Brown and the 50s and early 60s. This was set in the very early 60s, and it's a wonderful book. And then I've read recently Educated. It's a memoir, and it was really great. It's a rags to riches story. Actually, it's an uneducated to educated story, so I, I highly recommend that. That is by Tara Westover. And then Park Avenue Summer is by Renee Rawson. And then I read this because I, I had not read it. And you would think through high school and college I would have read this book. But everywhere we go, Hemingway has been there. So I read Ernest Hemingway's The Old Man in the Sea this summer. Then this one I had read a lot about. And everybody who's read it seems to enjoy it is Little Fires Little Fires Everywhere and it's written by Celeste Ng NG. I think it was pretty good. It's not my favorite. Um one of my favorites was um, of course I think Park Avenue Summer and because it, it's based on history as well. And then I've also read Boy Erased the memoir written by Garrett Conley, excellent book, a uh, young boy who was, who is gay and his parents sent him away to train him to not be gay, which, you know, that in itself would be a whole book, but what he went through during that time. And so I recommend that. And then I read this book, which I loved. It is a memoir of Isaac Mizrahi. And if you love fashion, you'll love this. <laughs> I am got it 20% off. And that was, I think I got that with here at Barnes & Noble as well. But um, excellent book. Tells how he made it in the world of fashion and then lost it and then came back again. You will love that if you are a lover of fashion. This book I am going to show you is a must if you are into current events, politics, you want to hear um, stories of the wealthy and powerful. It's James Patterson's Filthy Rich. It is the story behind what now turned into a real tragedy it is a tragedy for the victims, a tragedy for the perpetrator, and that is the story of Jeffrey Epstein. And I read it, I finished it last week, and now he has, uh, he committed suicide. So I'm glad that I knew more about it. It just right in the middle of the story. I had heard about the case that was going on regarding the girls that uh, he was uh, involved with. And I was, did not know all the details. So now I feel like I'm much more informed by reading that book. And so if you like mysteries or you like reading cases, I like, because I was in the law field for many years, I love reading cases and that's a, one to read. And this book was really great. I think if you haven't read this one, it's a good one to pick up. It's Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. It is wonderful. You will, you will want to be where this young girl lives because it's so well written and the details are so beautifully put to paper. I just, I, I loved it and it has a, um, a little bit of a twist at the end. So it's kind of a mystery as well. And I think you'll love that. 
but I'm putting all these back in this case so that I can take these to her house and drop them off. But I wanted to get you up to date on that and let me know what you think about any of these books that if you read them because we can uh, discuss them back in uh, our local animal shelter has tents set up so you can go and adopt animals today. I would go over but I'm afraid I'll fall in love with one of them. And I don't have Oh, I don't have time for it right now, but I would love to have a small dog, maybe one day. So I'm going to go over here to the Sunglass Hut, see if I can find a proper place. Let's see. Thank you. Let's see if I can find a place close by. If not, I need to exercise anyway, so I'll walk. Now I have that stupid Old Town Road song in my head, so I can't, I can't get away from it. It's either on the radio or in my head all the time. And these are the glasses I went in with. These are the Ray-Ban 3491s and they have the 59 millimeter lens. And the ones that I don't like are the 61 that come way down on your cheek. So I did not find what I was looking for. I found some very similar to this that are 59 millimeter. And the only difference was this area that is rubberized was not rubberized. And when I put them on, they looked exactly like what I had. So I didn't think I wanted to buy two pair exactly alike. So I just stuck with these, but I did buy some new glasses. I decided after trying on some beautiful Tiffany sunglasses and Gucci, I had to make a decision and I decided on these Prada Heritage. Now these are 61 millimeters and these are gold with the brown gradient and I just love them because of their simplicity and I think they look good with my hair back like when I wear it in a ponytail or something like that and I am so happy with my choice what do we think we are off to Ulta I would go in Sephora but I think I'm more likely to find what I need in Ulta I love both stores. I could go in weekly, but we're going to try Ulta today. And it's a beautiful day, so I'm glad I'm out. Okay, Ulta. So here's what I got. You know, I've told you several times how much I love these Earth Therapeutic Collagen Hydrogel Under Eye Patches. I run through box after box of those, and they are really great. They have green tea and aloe in them and cucumber and chamomile and it really does the job under your eyes in which by the way I'm having some things done under my eyes. I have a lot of little broken capillaries and little vessels that I'm having zapped to try to help with that the situation so we're going to keep our eye on that and I'll tell you more about that later but while I was in Ulta I found this product as well for under eye and I know I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly chalk chalk c-h-o-k c-h-o-k and it's under eye mask and it's a Korean product made in Korea 
Well, I don't know what Korea is doing, but they really get their products right. This is also a Korean product. It reads right here on the packaging, Earth Therapeutics, a Korean beauty. Well, guess who's going to Korea? I am in several months, and so and I'm going to take you with me, and we're going to look for some Korean beauty products. I'm really so excited about it. But I also, while I was in, I got these little... I don't know if you see these little trial size in Ulta as you're checking out. Well, I love this Clinique moisturizer. It's that yellow gel hydrant, uh, let's see, uh, dramatically different moisturizing gel, gel hydrant. Anyway, we've all seen it at the clinic counter. It's the yellow, <laughs> dropped it. It's the yellow moisturizer, but that's not the unique part about it. I love this packaging, this tiny thin tube. So I buy up a handful of these when I'm in. They're about five, they are five dollars. And uh, they're perfect to put in your handbag and to put in your car glove compartment or console. They're perfect, office, desk drawer, just have them everywhere. And they're the perfect size, and they're really compact. And that was my ultra purchases today. I didn't buy a lot, but I uh, I am going to start checking out more of the Korean products. And if you have favorite Korean products that you use, please send me a message letting me know what they are. And in the comments, I'd love to see what I should be looking into, especially when I go to Korea, because I'm hoping to find a, just a whole, maybe a whole line of Korean products that I like, and, and uh, maybe do a video on that for you. But anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you a subscriber, so please tap the subscribe button, and I'll notify you every time I post a new video. And follow me on Instagram. Bye!